up, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, if you're watching it live on Twitch, hello, um, if you're watching it both on the Celtic pod, uh, Celtic Mind podcast channel, which I have, if you don't know, just go subscribe to it, it's where me and Lewis sometimes don't only me speak about more in detail about what has happened uh, to Celtic in the past week or month. So yeah, go check that out, um, if you're watching on the Lewis Evans channel, please subscribe on both channels and like, and if you're watching it live on Twitch, please follow. Um, you know, what can I say? It's the morning after the night before. It's another disaster for Lennon. Um, another disaster for Celtic and the boards. You know, what can, you know, what as this title says, how in the right mindset can the board have Lennon in their mind for a rebuild next season? You know, it's like saying to a, a three year old to manage a, bu- a drive a bus, you know, it's that bad. Like you, it's just it's that unthinkable. Like you wouldn't think about it, but of course, Celtic board will. You know they will think about it, and that's the sad thing about um, reality right now for Celtic. Um, you know it's it is really. This is what happens to Celtic now. Um, we're getting into that era of Graham Murty. You know the eras of you know him managing a, a, a Rangers side. You know, and when we I told talked about on the Lewis Seven channel about the iPad and. You know, they were. It looks like um, somebody said uh, they were ordering a, a Chinese or something for on the way the trip down from Dingwall again, which was quite, you know, just uh, even Griffiths when he was coming on, he was even bored by that in that um, the Stratton's iPad because he knows how to play football. You don't need an iPad to play football, you know. Somebody says here another cra- car crash of a post match interview from the manager. How many times has he, has he come out after a defeat and said we didn't deserve to lose? To top it off, he's broken our record as the first time they sent this a century that we've lost twice in one season to a team in the bottom half of the league. This shambles has to end. I totally agree, I totally agree with that. How it's took him three months. And I'll, I'll read a statement here. Not a statement, you know, a comment. This is unbelievable. Anyone that knows football could see three months ago that Lennon was losing it. How the board to have sat back and let a historic season fail to us discre- as discre- as disgraceful, sorry. Um, just because we've won a quadruple treble doesn't mean we can think big and get better manager and players can keep success going. When will the board learn that the cheap option gets us nowhere as and our new manager has to rebuild the foundations of the club and we can't see him wanting a lot of these players and we'll need to see if we can keep any of our young talents like Sir Turnbull, Sorrow, Con Hazard. Uh, will today be uh, Groundhog Day again? Are the board just going to be uh, keep going with th- this pantomime? You know, I wrote this last night. This is disgraceful. It is. Um, are we going to see another insane babbling interview from the in- impact? Arrogant um, and a dugout. A dugout. Yes. The board. The board had a disgrace. That's it. Um, I dis- um, this should have been sorted out months ago. Lenin. Being such a Celtic man, he should have walked out months ago. That's what I keep saying. He should have said that months ago, saying this is not what now. I can't do any more with my players than I already have trying to be done. So I'm going to ha- hold my hands up and I'm going to leave. I can't do any more. Um, but he sees the cash rolling in his account, and that's all matters to him. An utter embarrassment from top to bottom. That is, it's it's an utter embarrassment, you know. It's disgraceful. It really is. You know, you try to describe words, but it, it, you know, it's it, you know, you get you get outblown, you get out tactic by John Hughes. Fair play to them. Well, he said his tactics in the pre-match interview with Sky. You know, we've we've uh, said we've got more strength in in the free kick areas. If we have free kicks or anything, we have more strength in Celtic, and that's true. If no one's defending. You know, the tallest guy's going to get there. The two of the tallest men for us is Iron Welsh, and they're both marking the same player. I mean, what is the point? Zono marking's not working. Like, it's just, it, it's unbelievable. Um, you know, stunned. But Lennon obviously comes out with the, the as I said, their car crash of a, a post interview and says, um, we should have won the game. You know, I'm clearly saying if we were under that, Brendan Rodgers is a good, decent football. I know it wasn't the kite. PSG's of football, the brilliant football. We still won the game. We didn't miss chances that we would we missed uh, Christie's last night, uh, Edwards. 
we didn't we wouldn't have missed them if we were under Brendan Rodgers, I'm telling you. Because it's if you're th- if you're it's the way Lennon speaks out in his interview saying that um you know we didn't deserve to lose, um, you know he doesn't know, you know, he he's not stunned by it and he sadly the five match win if that five match winning streak was kept going, right? Right. Is it actually going to keep my job to the end of the season? Probably if it kept going, right? Probably if it kept going, I'm telling you. And it, it probably still will go to the end of the season, although not kept the win streak going. But it, it will stay there to the end of the season. And as I said at the start, keeping Lennon in your thoughts for a rebuild at Celtic next season is like a three-year-old if you're thinking for a three-year-old to drive a bus. Or I don't, I don't. It's just it's something you would never think about. You know, um, I had a good bit on a podcast channel last night. Celtic fans will treat Celtic the way they've treated them this season. Uh, and that's fair. That is absolutely fair. Because Celtic have treated us like, not supporters, like customers. You know, the way the statements have come out, the way they, they've worded it, the way they've saying we are the one in the wrong, not them. If Celtic wanted to win 10 in a row a season, they should have busted the banks for it. Because you know how much money they got back from DVDs, T-shirts, shirts, anything that set had ten in a row on it. People would have buy it. You would have got money back from it, mere money, profit. If Celtic want season ticket money, act now and end this charade. Or should I, uh, should I, because this is disgraceful. And it really is, I'm telling you. Um, how long does it take to, until the board realised the fans have had enough? You know, the fans have been in a stadium um, this season. Lennon went to last till October, you know, even November. He wouldn't have lasted, no way. Lennon showed no urgency to change this absolute rubbish we've uh, had in the park. No rhythm, no uh, coordination, and three strikers on the bench. He really needs to go. That should be the last straw. Well, we've had plenty of that last straws this season. And it's he's still not gone. So what what is the point? What is it going to take to get Lennon sacked? What is it going to take? I don't, I really don't know what it's going to take. And if it if it really takes to the end of the season, I I think really what is going to happen is um, March time, middle of March is when the season ticket renewals come out the the, the sheets. I think there's going to be an announcement then. I really do. That will get the season tickets, man. That will get them in. They'll probably say Lennon is going to be gone, and the se- and Lennon's going to be gone, and we're getting so and so in. If well, it's Eddie Howe, your Rafa Benitez, your whoever. That is what I think that's going to happen. That will get the money in. Now that what they did it with Brendan Rodgers when Moni Dyer left. You know, they did it. Um, Lennon and the rest of the management team needs to pack their bags, and um, it's it's just embarrassing as I say. I'm just looking through. A uh, couple of ones here. That's a good one. Um, somebody posted um, Christie when he missed that shot. I don't know how he missed it. You know, over the bar, open goal. It is a landed in Mars. <laughs> That's a cracker. That is a good one. That's the only humour I'm get you're getting this season. I'm telling you, yourself. That's that's it. You know, when you have three strikers on the bench. And you don't even, um, you don't even play Wanyam. You play Christie, who is not a striker. What, what, the, what is the point? What is the point of seeing that I play? Ah, oh. really, really disappointing this season. Really, how many times can you scream it's disappointing? And like, uh, we've got a wee bit of BBC here. Look. Neil has apologised to supporters after a 1-0 defeat at Ross County. Um, has ended um, the Scottish Premiership Slim's title defence. Jordan White, 70... Like, he's tall, he's about 6 foot, Jordan White. This guy. Uh, Lennon admits his side let let his fan, the fans down as they stumbled again in their pursuit of 10 in a row. He says, I apologise, I wasn't for you know, the want of trying, he told Sports Sound. The players were putting in the effort, but it wasn't good enough. Um, Celtic dominated possession, but Kate Little on another dispiriting night for the region, uh, champions. 
They left Chile and 8 Rangers by 18 points with 8 games left. That means that regardless of Celtic results, their side will guarantee the title of a draw in the next Old Firm game on the 21st of March if they win their next two matches against Livingston and St Mirren. However, they could win as early as 6th of March if Celtic lose to Aberdeen next Saturday, which is possibly happen. It lends it's a strange one. Um, it capitulates our season. It's another poor goal from a set piece, but I think we played well tonight and did enough to win the game. If we played well in the game, would they win the game by goals playing? If you don't play a sticker up Edward when you what you won the last five games with two up front, what is the point? The goal, um is excusable our defenders don't seem to want to defend this season. We do the work on the training pitch but if the players don't attack the ball there's not much you can do. It's been the running theme for a season, what uh, for whatever reason. It's it's hugely damaging. Despite the feet Lennon maintained his sta stance that he wants to continue to lead Celtic and says the club need to rebuild. So far I've not been told anything otherwise. He said when I was asked uh, Switcher, he says I love this job, I love the club, it's been a difficult season but you always want to rebuild and go again. Oh go, okay, oh no, that is not what you want to hear. Hopefully the Celtic board don't take that as a, a sign that you should get Lennon in for a rebuild, no. Um, how depressing is it when you see the Celtic team sheet um, you stick decent money on less than three goals in the game. Uh, if Tunzel stays as long as Brown has served us, I think we will all be happy. The boy is absolute class and getting better with every game. The way he has stopped and turned the ball in any direction, close control, is brilliant. I especially like, um, think through ball, that's a good one. I wouldn't be surprised if they, if he was to defend defence going into home, going home with a point of three. Oh, that's probably what I'm talking about next match actually. Um I'm really just talking about Turnbull season when he he's played. It's really good. Um yeah, that has really been it. You know, we've broke down the game. Um I mean it's poor defending again. Um you know it's it's just embarrassing at the end of the day, you know, when you see a manager not even try, you know you know, Mark uh, Hughes. Is it Hughes? Well, uh, Ross County's manager literally told his tactics before the game. Right, told his tactics right, and he uh, and he done them, done them perfectly. Holded Celtic to everything. We should have been one. Like we should have won the game, but when you can't even score from about two yards out, <sighs> that just sums up our season, Christie's season as well. You know, it's sort of embarrassing, you know. Um, you see the iPad out, as I said earlier. Um, probably asking all the players, got it, he was got it, that strength was up at Griffiths. Griffiths wasn't, wasn't looking at it. He was probably saying, you want fried or boiled rice? He wasn't paying attention because he didn't need any you know, for the trip down back from Dingwall. It's just disgraceful. I know it's a, it might not happen, but it's just disgraceful. Sums up our season as well as everything else, you know. Hopefully, and I'm praying on this, that at the end of the season we get a man, new manager in, new man, new players in. Um, I see a lot of players going, Edward, Ayer. Yeah, tell you what, he was the only man that was fighting for his, get, uh, his transfer. Other players didn't look like, you know, Kenny. How did I ever play Ralston? He's better than, he's, Kenny's no no better than what we've got, Ralston. No better. Um. And we're just wasting money at this point by I know the transfer window shut now, but we're wasting money there. Um we're wasting money on players that we who are worse off than who we've got. Um and yeah, I'd, I see this continue to the end of the season where it could possibly end next Saturday. Um so yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching guys on the Celtic Mind Podcast show. Thanks for watching the new on seven channel. Please subscribe and like them both. And please follow if you're watching it live on Twitch, guys. And I'll see you guys um, next time. Peace.